Okay, I'm going to show you a way to solve division problems, and it's called repeated subtraction. Because when we're multiplying, we're just adding something over and over and over again. Well, when we're dividing, we're really just subtracting the same number over and over and over again. In this case, we have 32 divided by 8. So we're going to start with 32. And we're going to subtract this 8 right here. So 32 minus 8 equals 24. Now that 24 becomes the first answer or number of our next subtraction sentence. 24 minus 8 equals 16. Okay. That 16 becomes the first number of my subtraction sentence. 16 minus 8 is 8. And 8 minus 8 equals 0. Okay, so I started with my 32 and subtracted 8. And I took that answer and kept subtracting 8 from it until I finally get down to 0. Now that's, that's great and all, but what's the answer to this addition or this division problem up here? Well, I'm going to count how many times did I have to subtract 8 before it got to 0. I subtracted 8 once, twice, three times, four times. Okay? I subtracted 8 four times to get to 0. So, that means 32 divided by 8 equals 4. So start with 32, and if I'm dividing it by 8, I'm seeing how many times am I subtracting 8 to get to 0, and that's 4. Okay? So the next one, 28 divided by 7. I have my 28. That's what I'm going to start with. And I'm going to subtract 7 from it over and over and over again until I get to 0. So I take my 28 minus 7, and that equals 21. That becomes the first number of my subtraction sentence. 21 minus 7 is 14. 14 minus 7 um, equals 7. 7 minus 7 equals 0. So as you can see, I started with my 28 right over here. I kept subtracting this 7 from it, from it, and every answer I got, every time I got a new difference, I subtracted 7 from it. And I subtracted 7 one, two, three, four times. So my answer is 4. 28 divided by 7 equals 4. Okay, so I'm going to do one where the answer is not 4. Okay, so I'm going to go 18 divided by 6. Okay, so I start with my 18 and I'm subtracting 6 every time. So 18 minus 6 equals 12. That becomes my new one. 12 divided minus 6 equals 6. Six minus six equals zero. Okay, so I got to zero. I subtracted. I started with eighteen and kept subtracting six each time. It took me one, two, three times. Eighteen divided by six is three. Okay, so that's one way to do division problems. You can solve them by taking the first number, and when we subtract what we're dividing by repeatedly over and over again we get our quotient which is our answer so this time so take away six take away six take away six it equals three